if you go ahead. Go ahead. if you become president you will take an oath uh, saying that you will defend the constitution given that will you um, try to prevent warrantless wiretaps and searches which are forbidden under the fourth amendment I thank you for the question in fact it came up in a conversation I had today there is a careful balance between protection of individual rights and our obligation to defend the security of this country. My friends, we all know, I don't think anyone here disagrees that there are people who are out there around the world as well as perhaps or possibly some even within the United States of America or attempting to be established inside the United States of America that want to destroy us. And they are using the most modern forms of telecommunications in order to do so. And look at the way telecommunications has changed over the last 20 or 30 years. So um, it, it, we, we're not, again, it's, it's, a, it's a product of this gridlock. I am, I am convinced that we need to monitor uh, communications between terrorists. And I think all of us would agree with that. At the same time, we have to, but at the same time, at the same time, as you mentioned, there are certain inalienable rights. And among those is a right to privacy. So what we really need to do uh, to, to address this issue is have hearings, have discussions on it. I think that we should have the ability to go and uh, instantaneously and monitor the phone calls of people that we, are, that we suspect of being capable or intent on doing bad things uh, to America. So I, pour, I support the FISA law. I support it. I support it. And interestingly enough, in the Senate, there was an agreement between Republicans and Democrats to move forward. And that solution I supported and still support. And it got all hung up in the House of Representatives. And now, and now, we are to a large degree, according to the Director of National Intelligence, without the ability to do some of the monitoring that he feels is vital to, to the security of this nation. See how far we have come, my friends, where we can't sit down and agree that uh, uh, on a way that protects people's privacy and at the same time gives us the ability to prevent attacks on the United States of America. Uh, so I want to assure you, I think FISA was the right thing to do. And I would be more than happy to sit down and see if there's modifications that need to be made. But the worst of all worlds, in my view, is the gridlock that we're in, which basically, according to our people we entrust with the intelligence uh, uh, missions uh, of this country, that, that we're not able to do that. That's very unfortunate. Yes, ma'am.